Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. I have my favorites to share with you guys. So this is everything that I've been trying out in March that I absolutely fell in love with. Some of these are kind of newer to my collection, but I have tried them enough to let you know that they are really nice. So let's get started with the first thing is some shampoo and conditioner. And this is by the Brazilian, whoa, my bucket is like going crazy. This is by Br Sol de Janeiro. So these are called the Brazilian Joya. So these are strengthening and smoothing shampoo and conditioners. I absolutely love these. If you love the scent of the Brazilian Boom Boom Cream, you're going to love these. The shampoo is pretty thick, so when you put it out, it almost looks like you're using a, a conditioner. But the great thing about it is that it you only need a little bit of it, and it does a great job of cleansing my hair. It gives a good suds to it. Some people don't like the suds. I like the suds because it lets me know that my hair is clean. So. I only wash my hair twice a week. Typically when I wash my hair, I have to wash it twice in a row because of not washing it so often to get all of the dry shampoo, all the hair products that I've used. I only had to wash it one time and my hair was completely clean. So I absolutely love these. These smell fantastic. I highly recommend if you're going to get it though, get it in the duo pack. Plus it comes with a little Brazilian boom boom like the spray. So you get that with it. It's a better value that way in my opinion, especially since this Sephora sale will be coming up this month. I think it is. Is, is it this month or next month? I'm not sure which, but the sale will be coming up soon. So you'll be able to save a little percentage off of that gift set as well. So love these and I will definitely be repurchasing them. So it smells like summertime. Who doesn't like to smell like summertime? I know I do, especially like when it's still kind of chilly. I love smelling like summertime. Speaking of smelling like summertime, I have something else by the same brand, the Sol de Janeiro. So I picked up the Sol de Janeiro, the Sol Chirosa 62. This perfume smells exactly like the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Boom Boom Cream, but it smells like a little bit more intense. The only problem with this perfume I find that is that it doesn't seem to last quite as long as what a typical perfume does. You put it on your skin and you're like smelling good and fantastic for like an hour or two and then it's gone. So it, it's kind of disappointing about that because in my opinion it smells fantastic. It feels fantastic because who doesn't love to smell good? But the problem is it feels more like the body mist is what it acts like. So I do love it, but I think if you're going to purchase it, I would just get the body mist in my opinion. It's not going to be worth it to, pe to purchase this because it's a lot more expensive versus the body mist. So it, it does smell good, but I wanted to let you guys know about that, that it does smell good. It smells fantastic. It smells like the Brazilian Boom Boom Cream, but it just doesn't have a really strong lasting power. So I would prefer to just walk around with the body spray and spray myself with that. Even though I will use this completely up, I do love it, but it's something that I wanted to warn you guys about because the lasting power is not very strong. The next thing that I have been loving is something that I use on my tattoos. I don't know if you guys noticed or not, but I do have a tattoo here now, and I also have one on my hip area. So I've gotten two tattoos this year, which is kind of crazy because I went from having zero tattoos to having two tattoos. So I found this on the Ulta website. This is called Hustle Butter. So this is a luxury tattoo care. So basically all it is is a very thick cream that you put onto your tattoos and it helps to help them heal when they're in the healing process. But also after the healing process is over, it helps to keep them hydrated because the more hydrated you can keep your tattoo, the better it's going to look. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you my tattoo or not, but mine says be brave. So there is my tattoo. It does say be brave on it. And so all you do with this is you take and you only need a little bit. So you just take and rub your fingers across it and then you oh, I got a lot. You rub this onto your tattoo and it will definitely help to keep your tattoo hydrated as well as keeping it looking. The ink stays brighter for some reason. I'm not sure how it works like that, but I know that it does. So there's what it looks like after I've put some of the cream on. This cream is also really good for your hands. If you have dry hands, I use it on my hands. I use it on my tattoos. I use it on anything I can. It smells really nice too. It's not really strongly fragranced, but it's got a slight coconut scent to it. So if you like coconut, you're going to love this. So for me, this has just been really helpful for me taking care of my tattoos, especially during the healing process. And now just trying to maintain them, keeping them looking bright and nice. So I really like that. The next thing that I've been loving is from something that you guys have probably seen on my channel, like two million times. This is the Beauty Protector Protectin Oil. I absolutely love this. It smells like the Pink Sugar Perfume. If you like the Pink Sugar Perfume, which smells like cotton candy, then you're going to love this. It definitely helps to protect your hair as you're using heating tools. It smells nice. It's an oil. So my hair definitely loves oils because my hair is very dry. So I like to take two 
one or two of these so there's what it looks like it's just an oil take two of those and rub it in my hands to kind of like get it dispersed sometimes i'll rub it on my hands too because like i mean it feels good and it smells good so then i'll take in my hair from the ears down and just rub it in the bottom of my hair sometimes i will go up in here just to get rid of flyaways as well so I just love oils in my hair so this one here I've been using for many 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 years because I love the way it works for my hair I love that it's a protector plus it's an oil so if you're looking for something that's going to be good for your hair I highly recommend this I think before I was only able to purchase this on Birchbox but I'm gonna be looking around to see if I can purchase it in other places because they do have a spray that you put in your hair as well that's like a leave-in conditioner and I love both of them so I need to be on the hunt to find out where I can purchase beauty protector at. if you guys know let me know the next thing that I've been loving is from Primera. This is the Primera Miracle Seed Essence. It says it helps to brighten and hydrate your skin. This was sent to me from Octoly a long time ago and Primera, I tried it out and I really did enjoy it. And then I stopped using it for a little while because I don't know if you guys are like me, but I get so many skincare products into my collection that I kind of push some to the wayside. Well, I started using this again because my skin is really dry and I've been using a lot of things to help clear up acne. So I use it on these reusable cotton pads. So these you can find on Amazon. How to save the environment. Don't throw away a bunch of those cotton pads that you just toss after using them one time. You pour your essence on this rub it all over your skin and you're good to go i feel like this essence really has helped to make my skin hydrated again after i put this on after i've cleansed my skin and then put my lotions on top of it and i feel like it really has helped to maintain the moisture in my skin so really been loving this and i think you can actually purchase primera at sephora so if you guys are interested i think that's where you can purchase it and these little cotton pads like i said you can purchase those on amazon so great way to help to kind of save the earth <laughs> save the environment a little bit let's not throw so much stuff away the next thing I've been loving is something that I've actually showed you guys recently. It is my blue. So this is the, I don't know what it's called. It's the ghost smile. I told you guys about this not that long ago, to be honest, but <laughs> I just love this. I don't know if you can tell or not, but my teeth have been really getting a lot whiter and it's because of this. So I can't stress this enough how much this tool really helps me. All you have to do is take your little mouthpiece, which Another thing I would invest in is something I purchased on Amazon. This is actually, I think, meant for dentures, but you know. So all you do is you put your little mouthpiece in here and you push the button and then that will sanitize your mouthpiece. So your mouthpiece is always clean. It's not sitting on the counter letting cooties get on it. So that's really nice. So you put your mouthpiece in here and then all you do is put the mouthpiece onto your tool, rinse it off because it's been setting. So you want to rinse it off each time spray a little bit of this foam stuff onto it stick it in your mouth turn the light on and once you've turned the blue light on you can walk around you can do whatever you need to do i fold laundry i make beds i do whatever while i'm like whitening my teeth and then it doesn't make my teeth sensitive whatsoever i think what helps a lot is this right here this blue it's a foaming whitening toothpaste so this is actually not only just a whitening device but it also brushes your teeth so you can kind of like move it around a little bit in your mouth while you have it there and the little nubs here will help to scrub your teeth clean so i absolutely love this and cannot recommend it enough you can purchase this little kit here at, at ulta actually so if you're looking for something to help whiten your teeth and your teeth are very sensitive highly recommend the ghost smile blue it really really helps i think my teeth are the whitest i've ever seen them to be honest these are way better they were than they were even when i was a teenager because even as a teenager i was drinking soda pop all the time so this has been really nice the next thing that I've been loving is something you guys are going to think I'm crazy about. So this is a Grove Collaborative bottle. So this is just a glass bottle that I purchased off a of Grove Collaborative. And then inside of here is 90% alcohol. So I love to make sure everything is sanitized in my house, especially right now with everything that's going on in the world. So this is 90% alcohol. I will spray my beauty products down with this. I will spray my bathroom down if I have to wipe things down with the alcohol. So I do purchase the big I think it's a gallon size thing of alcohol. I've, I've been purchasing that for a long time because that's how I sanitize all my makeup that I sell on Poshmark. I will sanitize it with 90% alcohol because that kills all of the germs. So for me, this is really something that I've been using for a while, but something I wanted to mention right now is to get yourself a reusable spray bottle. Mine is glass, which is helpful as well, so it won't break down. 
but get yourself a reusable bottle pour some alcohol in it and use that to cleanse your beauty room especially because we want to try to keep down the viruses and things that are going on around the world so highly recommend getting yourself a reusable bottle if you like the glass one and you like that it has the little silicone thing i will have a grove link below for you guys you can get a five piece caddy for free when you purchase 25 dollars worth of products off grove so i'll have that link below for you guys the next thing that I've been loving is something else for cleansing. This is the uh, Mrs. Myers Clean Day. This is a hand sanitizer. It has essential oils in it. I don't know if it's going to be super effective as far as killing germs, but it makes me think it is. I hope it is. It says it has 62% alcohol, which I think it's supposed to have 70%. So I don't know that I can say, go get this and this is going to work. But this is something that I use on my own hands while I'm like doing stuff in my beauty room. So it's basically now for that because it comes out in like a spray form. So you just spray it on, rub your hands together and it's clean. But it's only 62% alcohol. So you could add, like I could add some of the 90% alcohol to this to kind of level it up to a 70%. But either way, a spray sanitizer is what I was trying to get to. A spray sanitizer is really nice because you just spray it. You don't have to worry about that gel feeling on your hands. I don't like that gel feeling. It feels gross. This is just spray and you're ready to go. You can just use alcohol, but it's going to dry your hands out really bad. So you want it to contain at least 70% to kill any kind of germs. So if you're gonna mix your own solution, make sure that somehow your percentage of alcohol is still 70%. The next thing that I've been loving is something that we got in a FabFitFun, I'm pretty sure it was. This is the Bando. I love this little thing. You stick it to your shower and it connects to your phone so you can listen to music. I love to jam out to music while I'm taking a shower or even listen to YouTube videos. So I like to listen to YouTube videos while I'm taking a bath. Sometimes your bathroom can be a little bit noisy, especially if you have like a fan going or something like that. So this helps to increase the volume of your phone and you can set your phone somewhere that's not in the bathtub and you can still listen to a video and then also it has the ways that you can push these buttons to go skip forward or you can pause you can also answer a call on this but i've never answered a call in the in the bathroom so that would just be weird in my opinion so either way i really love this if you guys got this in your fabfitfun box get it out it's really nice it works really well it's got a good sound quality to it so i've been loving mine something that else that i've been using for cleaning is something for my brushes something that i've heard so many people talk about that i was like i don't know if i want to try that or not but this is the zote soap so here's what it looks like this is just a pink big block of soap i was a little bit worried because i was like this is supposed to be for laundry so how is this going to affect my skin because i was concerned because i do have very sensitive acne prone skin but the more i looked into it zote is actually really good for acne so i was like hmm very interesting and I noticed after I started using this to clean my brushes my acne has started to clear up more so I've been cleaning my beauty sponges with this as well as my brushes it does a fantastic job it's very affordable so if you guys are looking for this I found mine at Walmart I think it was like two dollars for this big hunk of chunk of bar of soap they do have it in pink and they have it in white I just picked up pink I don't know why I picked up pink but I just did it smells very clean and sanitary so if you don't like that clean sanitary almost lost all like scent you may not like this because it definitely smells like that but either way i really love this for cleaning my brushes it does a good job they come out nice and clean they smell good in my opinion so i really like this and it's super affordable the next thing that i've been loving is something that was sent to me from octoly and clarence this is the lip comfort oil intense so i love lip oils i just got one in my recent ipsy box and then now I've gotten this one here from Ips I mean, no, not Ipsy, Octoly and Clarins. So they sent this to me complimentary to test out. And I was like, yeah, I love lip oils. So the reason why I really like this one, though, is because, first of all, it smells fantastic. It smells like candy. It smells like Werther's Original Candies. It smells so, so good. And it's not super goopy like a lot of the other lip oils I've tried. It comes out very almost intense like, oh, I guess it is called a lip oil intense. So it comes out very intense and yet it doesn't feel gross on your lips. It's very soft and hydrating on my lips. I absolutely love this. I want to get some more colors in this right now. This one here is in the shade Intense Plum. I love this. So if you guys are looking for something to hydrate your lips with a little bit of oil, but also you want the color, definitely recommend this and it smells so good mm -mm, good the shampoo not shampoo this is not shampoo the hairspray i've been loving is from sebastian this is the sebastian shaper plus it's for touchable humidity resistant extra hold hairspray 
The reason why I love this is two reasons. One, because it definitely leaves your hair feeling touchable. I have it in my hair right now and you cannot feel any kind of hairspray. The other reason is it smells so good. You guys know how I am about things that smell good. So this smells absolutely fantastic. So if you guys are looking for a hairspray that will actually help to hold your curls, but yet leave your hair feeling touchable so that when somebody touches your hair, they're like, wow, that's a nice helmet head you got there. <laughs> so this is really good for that, as well as making it smell really, really nice. The other thing from Sebastian, I think I have it here too. Yes. The other thing from Sebastian that I really love is this right here. This is the Sebastian Dark Oil. This smells so, so good. I'm almost out of this one. I'm hoping I have a backup. If not, I'll have to order one from Ulta. But this is really good for putting oil in your hair and distributing it nice and evenly. And it smells fantastic. It smells almost amber-like. So if you like the amber, more beautiful, like, I don't know, like romantic scent notes, then you're going to love this. So both of these in combination have been my absolute favorites to style my hair with. I love the way that they work. So if you guys are interested in trying them out, definitely check out Ulta. I think they'll have their hair deals coming up soon. They typically do the 21 Days of Beauty and then they'll do the hair, I think it is, or is it skin? I'm not sure. But either way, definitely keep a lookout for that. Something else that I've been loving is... <laughs> I've been really sore lately because I am trying to do some things around our house to get it prepped and ready because we are eventually going to sell our house. But I'm not a young chicken anymore. I'm not a spring chicken. So certain things that I do really do make my body hurt. So I have found out this BioFreeze works fantastic. So I had a, a really sore knee because when I was younger, I went roller skating and I fell on it and I heard something pop when I fell. So when I do a lot of walking or standing or doing anything a lot with my knee, it will act up and hurt so bad that I can't sleep because it's like a thumping pain. So this has really been helping me to sleep at nighttime. It's very cold. It's very extreme. If you like icy hot, you'll like this. But the difference is icy hot is not as extreme as this is. This is very extreme. So I really like it though because I can get some good sleep at nighttime and not have to worry about knee pain. The next thing that I've been loving, let me grab the rest of these things out of here because this metal, that bucket thing I got here is a little bit loud. All right, hang on guys. I got lots to grab here. Well, not lots, but a few things. So the next thing I've been loving is this lip scrubber. So I purchased this lip scrubber onto Ulta. So the reason why I really like it is because I don't like putting things on my fingers and then rubbing it onto my lips because I don't feel like, first of all, I don't feel like that's sanitary. Second of all, I feel like I get it everywhere. I end up having lip stuff in my fingernails. So what I've been using with this lip scrubber is something that was sent to me by Fresh and Octoly. So this is the Sugar Lip Polish. It says it gently exfoliates and conditions your lips. So it smells so good. Oh my gosh, it smells like brown sugar. So all you do is use your clean lip scrubber. So all you have to do to clean this is run it under water. You can put a little soap on it if you want to, to make sure it's nice and clean. And then you take and dip into here, and then you've got it on there. This keeps this sanitary, and then you don't have to worry about this getting all gross. And then not only that, you can use this on your lips and it's going to not leave it all over your fingers. So Fresh sent me this from Octoly and Fresh sent me this complimentary to test out and I absolutely love it, but I love it in combination with this. I think this is what really helps me love it more because I've had these lip scrubbers before and while I love them, I wasn't absolutely in love with them. And now these are so easy to use with this little scrubber tool that I think that they're fantastic. So if you're looking for a lip scrubbing mechanism, definitely check out this. If you're looking for a lip polish that smells good and does a good job, definitely check out Fresh. This smells fantastic. The other thing that Fresh and Octoly sent me complimentary to test out is this right here. Where did it go? Is this, this is the Fresh Mint Rush Lip gloss. It's not really a gloss. I don't know what they call it. They call it a lip treatment. So if you like the smell of mint chocolate chip ice cream, you're going to like this. It's not so minty like mint chocolate chip ice cream, but it has a very light scent to it. I love the fresh treatments for your lips because they're not sticky. They go on very smooth and they don't feel like they make my lips feel Sometimes you can lip, you put a lip product on and it almost feels waxy. This does not feel waxy whatsoever. It just makes your fix, lips feel nice and hydrated. So after you use the fresh lip scrub, use this and your lips will be so, so nice. I promise you, you will love them. So I know that you can pick up fresh at Sephora. So if you guys are interested in any fresh products, Sephora does carry them. So thank you so much to Fresh and Octoly for sending me those to test out because I love them. The next thing is something that I 
stress it out in my sample Sunday series. This is the Ulta Beauty. This is the Bold Ambition Volumizing and Conditioning Mascara. So when I got it, I was like, I don't know about that wand. That wand looks weird. So let me show you the wand. The wand looks like this. It's really interesting. But the reason why I like it is because it does have that little bit of a curve to it. You can go all the way into your lashes. You can go all the way out with your lashes. I don't like this as a mascara by itself, but to me, this is one that works great for building with other mascara. So if you guys haven't checked out the Ulta Beauty like mascaras, I highly recommend that you do because they're very affordable and they work really well. So check them out. The last thing I want to talk about is actually, actually I have two more things, so let's get through these last two things. So the first one is a palette. So this is the Visart palette. So I picked this up at Sephora. This is the Grand Pro Volume 3. So I had saw, who did I see? I can't remember who I was watching that they're getting their eyeshadow palettes down to only just a couple palettes. And they mentioned getting this one. And I was like, you know what? I think I really like that palette as well. So here's what the palette itself looks like. The palette is your bright, bold color. So if you're into bright, bold colors, you're going to love this. The pigmentation to this is fantastic. This is a very expensive palette. I'm not going to say it's not because it's, it's very expensive. However, if this is a color scheme that you're looking for, I highly recommend it because the colors are very pigmented. They blend out effortlessly and they stay on my eyes all day. I have no issues with them whatsoever. So if you guys want a video with this, let me know. I can totally do a, like a get ready with me with it so you guys can see it in action. But I highly recommend it. It is very, very good. It's quite pricey though. That's the downfall. And then the last thing is something I got as a sample from Sephora. This is the Tatcha the Liquid Silk Canvas. So I have the Tatcha Canvas, the one that comes in like the tub, and I really like that one. But the reason why I like this one is because it is a liquid form. The great thing about this one is that with the other one, I find that it can kind of peel up in certain places. This one that makes your skin look like you have a filter on your skin once you put your makeup on and yet it doesn't peel up. It's kind of hydrating. So if you are looking for something a little bit more hydrating than the Tatcha Silk Canvas, the one that comes in the can, you're going to love this one because it'll give you hydration. It still makes your skin look like it's poreless, which is nice. So I really, really like this. I'm definitely going to be purchasing, purchasing this in the full size. So that is the last thing I wanted to share with you guys. I know this was a long favorites video. Thank you guys. You scared me. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what some of your favorites are from recently. I would love to hear. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later.